This is the uh, mesquite bowl that I added a, a bottom to, and I had this ring already glued up. It was used on another project, and so I'm going to reuse it as well as the rest of it. Uh, it should come out pretty nice. It's going to go a little faster since I'm not cutting new pieces. I'm reusing old, um, but again, it'll make a nice product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just true this up to make sure it's centered and round. And I will clean this up to make sure it's um, centered and round as well. That way when I glue the next one I can line it up uh, and not have any kind of wobble or the pattern be shifted off. But I'm not going to do much on this one. Just a little bit of clean up and flatten the face. Didn't take long. Um, made sure that it was perfectly round. I flattened the face and then on the inside made sure it was round that way when I glue up the next layer I can use that as a judge to know if my pattern is off or if I've got it aligned properly but uh, this one's pretty simple I'll go glue up the next layer getting ready to add the next layer to the mesquite uh, bottom bowl with the layer of South American walnut and Decided to add this. I had this left over from another project um, and it looked really well with this color combination. So I'm going to do it again. Uh, different, a little bit different size, different shape, but um, you can see why I decided to true up the inside. That will let me line up the bowl to where it is centered on that pattern and should be good from there. So I'll get ready to glue it up. Just got it lined up and glued up. Um, see it's evenly spaced. That's one of the reasons why I turned the inside to help me gauge that. But uh, I'll add a weight to the top of this and let it dry. Well, I got the uh, mesquite project that I'm working on. It's going to be a smaller bowl. It's been dry for a little while and so I'm getting ready to turn it. All I want to do on this one though is uh, make it round, maybe take some of these hard edges off and until I get it all glued up to see what the wood that I have since it's from a former project what it will allow me to make out of it. So I'm going to get ready to do that and I'll show you what it looks like. So I've flatten the face of this. I've turned it round and I started to round off some of the hard edges. Uh, not taking it to a final shape yet but just kind of taking some of the bulk off. And once again, uh, once I get some of the other layers on I'll be able to tell where I can take the shape. But uh, I'll go glue up the next layer. Got this one glued up and got my marks lined up. And I'm going to put some weight on it, and it'll be ready for the next layer. Well, I've got this one back on the lathe. My goal is to uh, just get this round. I may take some of this off, of this hard edge, um, get it trued up, and I'll show you what that looks like so I can get the next layer on. I'll just uh, finished turning down this layer, uh, still leaving it the shape a little... Um, thick so that I can true it up when I get everything glued up but uh, it's looking good we'll go glue the next layer on I'm back to the mesquite bottom bowl I'm getting ready to glue this to this layer but I went ahead and made some alignment marks so it'll make it a lot easier but yeah getting ready to glue this up I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done I got that glued on there I'm gonna add a weight to it and let it set and then I'll keep adding layers. Well, I've got this one mounted back on the lathe. I've got some uh, cleanup work to do, but I'm really just going to try to turn it, uh, this layer down, get it the right thickness, get it flat, and glue up the next layer. Just got through turning down this layer. I went ahead and turned a little bit more, and got the shape a little bit closer to what I'm going to end up with. Um, just because I needed to. You can still see I've still got a ways to go uh, to get past uh, some of the, not necessarily flaws, but 
This was the very edge of the wood turning where it was square. This we had a little bit of chip out from the first layer. So still got some uh, room to go there. And you can see I still have it plenty thick to do that as well. But I'll show you what it looks like after I glue the next layer up. Getting ready to add another layer to this bowl here. And I just need to make some alignment marks and glue it up. So once I get it glued on, I'll show you what it looks like. Well, just got it glued up, and now it's a waiting game, so I've uh, got some others to glue up, and so I'm going to work on that, but it's getting closer. Just got back to it, got this one mounted up, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it around. Um, may work it a little bit into the previous shape, uh, but get it ready, and I'll show you what that looks like. Just got this layer turned down and still leaving it um, not quite the finished shape but real close uh, still got a lot of cleanup to do on the inside but i want to wait till i get this last layer on um, and that'll let me know how far i can push or where the shape ends up being so i'll go glue that up and show you what that looks like just got this one glued up and it's looking all right so I'll add some weight to the top of this and let it set. Just got this mounted back on the lathe and it's ready to turn. I'm going to refine the shape now that these are all the pieces that uh, I used from another uh, project. I've got another layer of South American walnut that I can use. I've actually got several different sizes so I'm going to go ahead and clean up this shape. And then if I have to, I can use a few of the other South American walnut rings or I'll glue up one. But I'm going to go ahead and clean up the shape and I'll show you what that looks like. Just got through turning this layer. It's looking good. I refined the shape. Uh, did some light sanding. Still have a little bit of sanding to do, but it is getting there. Um, it's looking pretty good. So... Like I said, we're going to add another layer of South American walnut, and we'll add a layer of mesquite, a big mesquite ring to finish this off, but it's looking nice. Well, I found a ring that I had that I'd used on a previous project, so it is going right here. I'll get that glued up and show you what that looks like. Just got it glued up, so... I'm going to add some weight to the top of this and wait for it to dry. All right, just got this one mounted up and we're going to turn down this layer. Um, we'll shape it to near final shape and make it a little bit thinner so that it matches this width. But And then after that, we'll glue up another ring. There it is. It's turned down. It's looking pretty good. Um, it's going to have a nice pattern on the inside when someone looks in it. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut some more mesquite to make a, a top layer. Alright, just got this sanded and I'm ready to glue it up here. So I'll get some alignment marks and glue it on there and I'll show you what that looks like. Well, it's glued on. This is the last layer for this one. And so hopefully tomorrow I can get it finished, turned, sanded, and maybe a coat of clear on. It's looking good, though. I'm back to turning on this bowl. Just got it mounted up and dogs barking in the background. But I am going to turn this layer. And because um, of the angle of this bowl, it only has a little bit of area so i'm probably going to have to split this ring in order to make the the bowl look good but i'll show you what it looks like when i get there just got this one about to where i'm ready to cut it off the lathe i took the angle out as far as i could go and this is what's going to look best in my opinion so i'm going to split this off so that i can reuse this on another project down the road but um, it'll be a nice kind of trumpet shape face or bowl. 
I've just got it uh, kind of sanded up, turned. Um, happy with the shape, but there are a few knots and bug holes that kind of affect the rim. So what I think I'm going to do is I bought this black Starbond super glue um, that's made for filling holes in dark woods, uh, little knots, pinholes. I think I'm going to try to use it just so that um, it gets the wood sealed. And uh, so I'm going to go do that and we'll s hopefully be able to sand it a little bit later. I got the mesquite bowl mounted back up. The black super glue that I used has had enough time to dry, so I'm going to turn it um, and sand it and hopefully not have to fill any more holes, but we're going to see what it looks like. Well, it looks like that's going to work and sanded it with 120. And now what I've got to do is go through. 150, 220, 320, 400, 600. So uh, for the next 45 minutes or so, I'm going to be out here sanding. But uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all sanded up, and hopefully I can get some clear on it today. Well, it's been sanded, and I'm going to wait for the dust to settle, and then I'm going to go get uh, some product that I've been using but they make a sealer and I'm going to try to seal this first uh, just supposed to help help with that and I wanted to try it so I'm going to start adding some finish to it well it's looking good uh, I just need to let that dry and once I get the other clear coat on it'll really shine really be nice so it's not as fast drying as some of the polyurethanes I've used because it's a tongue oil, but if it'll help keep the color longer and provide a better finish, then I'm all for it. Well, I just got through adding a coat of the Waterlux Marine finish uh, over that coat of sealer that had dried. And so now it's just waiting game till this dries and we'll add another coat. But it is looking nice. This mesquite bowl is looking really nice. It's dried, been dried for several days, and I'm getting ready to part it off. So I will get it cut off the lathe and I'll show you what it looks like. So I've just got through making this groove with the parting tool, and maybe you can see it now a little better, but. I'm going to finish it with the saw, that way I don't damage the vessel, and get it off clean. Just wanted to take a minute and show off uh, the finished bowl. It's made out of mesquite, South American walnut, paduke, and maple. Really nice colors on this one. It is um, got 181 pieces, and it's the 33rd piece that I've made since I started renumbering these in 2021. But uh, this one's going to the Mountain View Americana Show in South Carolina, Dakisville. So if you get a chance, check that show out on Facebook or any of the other platforms that it's being shown on. But just wanted to show off this one it came out really well really love mesquite such a beautiful wood to use thanks for watching